Hey everybody, it's good to see you all again. This segment is just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in this episode. So in this episode, there is a situation um, towards the end or anywhere in this episode, there is a blank. That means there's no sound coming in the episode. And you might think that is your fault. That is my fault. You can blame me, say it was my fault because that is editing problem and that's because of recording and the recording platform that I use. If that happens to be in the in the episode, if that's in it, um, what you need to do is to just disregard it. Don't worry about it. Consider it like an ad break. Consider it like a break. Consider it like we're taking a five minute break. Consider it like that. So no freaking out. No need to worry. Make sure you guys enjoy the episode. Enjoy what's in it. And y'all have a good one. And enjoy this one. Really enjoy it and have fun. And please disregard the blanks in there because other than breaks. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you guys for understanding and for your cooperation. Hey, everybody. Today I'm here with another rap hatter, Poseidon. Um, I can't. I have a feeling I pronounced it wrong, but um, I'll just fuck it. I messed up. Nah, you did. But, um, it was good. Okay, okay. Just make sure that I did. Anyway, everybody, I'm so happy that he's here. We've gone through, I think, months of rescheduling, so it's so great to finally have you here. Say hey to the world. Hello, hello. I'm very honored to be here, and yes, it took some time to get this meeting in place, being different circumstances affecting. But now I'm here finally, and I'm very excited, you know, be able to express myself, just talk. That's sweet, that's sweet. That's good to hear. That's what my podcast is for. <laughs> that's amazing. It's a great concept. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Most definitely. That's one of the yeah. things I love about doing it. Yeah. Good thing. It's good. It's mainly it's a platform for new upcoming artists to be able to express themselves, maybe build the bigger connections. It's a great tool for persons like me. And for you, it's like, it's a great idea. I like it. And that's why I'm here right now, because I think it's something with potential, you know? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like part of my mission statement. So you basically kind of sort of described how I roll with things around here. It sounds good. It sounds like you have a nice chief of fame. Yeah, so you know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know the audience out there is waiting to hear more about you. So let's travel back to the past a little bit. All um, right. Let's... Let's talk about your start of your music career. So how on earth did your music career even start? I mean, I think it all originated from when I, early, early age. Uh, I was uh, like four or five years old, and I remember I was in my car with my dad, and we were listening to a lot of old school rap, and it probably influenced me a lot and sparked an interest for music. It was a lot of Wu-Tang Clan, Eminem, Cypress Hill, House of Pain, Tupac, Eminem, Biggie, it was, you know, great legends. And that probably sparked, you know, a light in me that uh, later growed to becoming uh, something bigger right now. That's probably why I um, find it, uh, find a passion in making music at all. Oh, that's pretty insane how all that started from you just listening to some music. Pretty yeah, extraordinary. Yeah. It all started with a feeling. Ah, a feeling. So you becoming a rapper was natural for you then? I mean, I suppose because uh, I was programmed, you know, listening to music <laughs> all day long, you know, Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang. And then when I was trying to find you know, my passion in life and what I want to do, I naturally gravitated towards music because it was something that I found harmonized with myself, you know? 
Oh, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I've that's been down that theory. road before. I, I can't look back and know exactly it was like this and this, but that's like my theory, how it all happened. But I, oh, I got it. you, I got you. And um, I wouldn't say theory, more like um, maybe like a summarized way or like, um, cause you, cause you're basically right. I have, I have a feeling that what you said is right about you. I don't really know, but, um, I feel like that's correct about, um, yeah, your life back, your, your life back then. So you're on, you're spot on then. Yeah. It's basically my intuition on how it all happened, you know? Oh yes. Mm-hmm. 100%. And talking from a songwriter, I do the 100%. Um, I want to make this crazy. So, um, so what would you say would be your big influences in rap music? I would say probably from listening to music as a kid and growing up with an interest in music and listen a lot of Tupac, you know, big in my teenage years. I'm still a teenager, you know, 18, 19, but 15 years old, listen to Tupac. Eminem, Biggie, and Cypress Seal, and a lot of Ace of Rocky uh-huh. too, because I feel he's kind of special. He's like uh, very fluid in his creation of music. He's uh, expressing in a unique way. I think it's like ahead of time, you know. And I think that oh, yeah. inspired me because it's way different from anything else and uh, outside of the box. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see where you're going with this one. Some of them I've not heard of, but I will go check them out. But I definitely see where you're going with their uh, with their uh, perspective mm-hmm. and their music. Because I have a feeling that your music is probably a reflection, you know, of their music. I have a feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I listen to their music and. I got a kind of feeling of what music I like. And then when I started to make music, I projected out that feeling because that's what I find, you know, enjoyable. I mean, that's what I connect a positive emotion to, if it makes sense, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got you that 100%. And coming from a community of musicians, your perspective and point of view is. I say spot on, to be honest. Hmm, that's great. Nice to hear. I mean, I try yes, to uh, explain in the best way I can. I mean, English is not my first language, and uh, I'm not uh, on podcast, you know, every single day. It's my first time on a podcast, but it's very fun to be here. And I love it. Oh, yeah, I could tell you were you were begging to come here. Yes. Like, for real, when I, when I asked you about it, you know, yeah. we went through months of rescheduling. And then you back to also being the concert that's coming like later on, and you back to be that, and you also wanted to be here. So I definitely see your passion of wanting to share your music and you know expressing yourself, which which is good. It's it's okay. I I really admire that about you. Yeah, I mean, how could I not? It's an opportunity. It doesn't matter how it's gonna go. It's still an opportunity. This podcast might be like you know results in a very bad podcast but it doesn't matter i just want to express myself i want to be able to try stuff it's an opportunity no matter what you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's definitely 100 percent. i like that you take opportunities whenever they're given to you yeah i mean i, I don't just take opportunities and uh, you know have slack and uh, just because it's an opportunity. If I take an opportunity, then I go full hearted on it because it's a moment for me to be able to, you know, grow and get the experience and just evolve in myself to become better at just being me, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the way you are with um, what you're doing, and I, and I guess your plan to really improve as an artist is. You know, it's very beautiful to me how you're going about all this. I mean, just hearing these, uh, um, just hearing this and getting to to know you like this, um, yeah, has really been has really been amazing so far. Has, and I'm actually now kind of excited to see 
how you look and um, what your performance will be like. I'm super excited to see you. Mm. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Very nice of you. I oh, yeah, so okay. I will do something great at the concert. I will. Uh, That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm excited. Wait, 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 one sec. Yeah, okay, okay. I have some recordings that I can use, but I think probably I will, you know, create something new, something special, something passionate. <laughs> hey, yay. I mean, I, is I'm it excited. like a competition? Like competition? Competition? <laughs> Wait one sec, I cut it cut it out. Now I'm back. Oh okay, okay. Um, that's fine, that's fine. I mean we live in a world when it's gonna be problems. Just shake it yeah, off. Don't worry, do. don't even worry about it. Yeah, you know, the the future is a mystery. We don't know shit what's gonna happen. Yeah. Which is unfortunate, you know. Mm -hmm. Which is why I tell you that disclaimer before we start, and I tell the audience about what's, what might be going on because you never really know um, what goes on with these things. And then when they do happen, a surprise, and then you wish you knew before they did happen. Yeah, I mean, you can never be prepared for the future, but you can stay cool, you know, and when it happens, you can just make the best of the situation. I mean, with that attitude that you have said, that you I mean you have to have respect for what can happen it's uh, it's going to be easier to handle those kind of you know effects that affect this <laughs> if you see it yeah 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 i get you 100 percent. and um i want to kind of ask this because you said competition why would you consider a concert a competition? Just um, I'm not I'm not trying to put you on the spotlight like this, but I don't, I just want to know your opinion on why you would think a concert would be like a competition. Like in your opinion, why I would mean, you think that? When I say competition, then I don't mean that I wanna go there. I wanna outshine other peoples with passions who also wanna make something out of their time. Because I totally respect that. That's something I feel, you know, that's love, you know? Everything, that's amazing. When I, when I say that I want competition, then I want, you know, it's going to be, you want to be the best, you know? Best version of yourself. And I feel when it's a competition, then I can perform. But it's not the approach where I want, you know, be better than others. I just want to do my thing, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I do. I, I totally get where the competition comes from. I thought it was the other way around, but um, I definitely respect respect what you're doing. I totally get what you're doing. And it's crazy, too. No offense, but um, it's crazy the way of thinking of competition that way. My opinion was. Wait, okay. did I cut out? Did, are you asking me or are you asking did you cut out? Okay, wait, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can still hear you. Yeah, okay, one second. Uh, I'm going to go outside and then we're going to have no more problems. Okay. okay. And then every problem in the world is going to be fixed as I go outside. Because I live in uh, Sweden and my internet is good, but right at this time when I, I'm talking to the other side of the world, it's, you know, kind of tricky. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get you, and I have all sorts of pro I have, I, that, that's basically me whenever I interview someone from out of the country. You can ask I me, I've interviewed people from around the world. I see, I see, yeah. So, what was the most uh, interesting person you interviewed? Like, what country was it from? It was like most, North most interesting. Ooh, let me say most interesting. Because um, I've done Britain. I've done Canada. Mm -hmm. I've done um, hmm, Australia. I've done Italy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think. I've done India. 
And I might or might have not have done Mexico. I'm unsure about the last one. Um, I think the most interesting ones is probably the one from Britain, from uh, the UK. I love um, those people from the UK. No, no offense to everybody else, but I just like their accent. I like how they are. I like their way of their style and how they do things. It's unique and it's very special. Very lovely. Yeah, I see what you mean, right? Okay, I tried to impress uh, do, do impression, <laughs> but it's cool. I mean, you're connected with people like all around the world, and that's that's kind of crazy, you know. That's kind of that's something big. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, all come from I the was, same place, and, and um, yeah, yeah. When I get to um, when I get to meet people from you know other places of the world, I get to see what their life is, and um their lifestyle and how they are as a person. And, you know, for me, that's special. And even people in different states, that's very special to me. Uh, I, I see mean, what you mean. I mean, I've met people all the way from the top in um, Maine. I'm exaggerating. I'm, I've, I've never actually met, met a, a person from Maine. But I've actually met some people from New York to uh, Florida, um, Cali. I mean... Those are like those are the ones I loved, and I also interview people from there. And I get to meet new people whenever I do this. Every episode is a new person. That's what I always say. Every episode equals a new person and new friendship. Like right now. That's that's very exciting. I think we're building a friendship right now. And I mean, I think yeah, you know, when you're talking to someone over, you know. Discord like this, you still you know talking to them. It's uh, you're still talking to them. It's not it's, you're still meeting the person. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I, I I would say like with this techno technology technology advancement, that uh, people say that the world is just getting bigger and bigger, but I would say it's like the opposite because you can literally talk to me right now. That's like on the other side of the globe and. I can take a plane right now if it wasn't Corona and I could go down to Spain in two hours. So, I mean, I think all of this is kind of exciting. It's amazing. Yeah, and um, that's, that's one of the three reasons why I even started doing uh, one of the, like one of those you just said was like, I get to meet new people every time that I interview somebody. I get a, I get a kind of happy feeling about them. I get a, a hopeful kind of feeling, a happy feeling about them because, and in my mind, I'm like, hey, I'm excited. I get to meet a new person. I get to meet someone yeah. that I've never met before. Um, mm-hmm. And to me, that that's exciting. I mean, to me, this is the way of traveling um, yeah, in a non COVID world. Um, it'd be going on an airplane. This podcast is like a way of an airplane. It's like every episode I'm going to a new place to meet someone. Yeah. Learn new stuff, you know? Because everyone oh, yes. has something to share and everyone has a bit of the truth that can be valuable and valuable information. So, I mean, this is a good tool for you to be able to gather valuable information and just build on, upon what you want to build. Oh, yes. Yes, I agree 100%. That's why when they provide advice th- uh, throughout the episode, I really take it in their advice because I get to learn more and more things every time. Every time someone comes on, I get to learn more and more about myself and I also get to learn more about them as a person and, you know, get some advice along the way as well. So that's always good. Yeah, I mean, you get to learn a lot about yourself. I would say like this, you know circumstance reveals man to himself so every time you reach a different person you learn something new about yourself and that's exciting yes yes i i agree 100 and coming from again songwriting and also coming from many communities of musicians like yourself um cool. that's definitely um my mindset whenever um I have something new like this, or even if I just text someone on Discord, whenever I meet someone new on Discord, that's that's also special. Whenever I meet someone new on Discord, yeah, and Instagram and other places, it's exciting with people. You can learn a lot. (laughs) 
Yeah, um, even now, because I've never met anyone from Sweden, and if I did, I don't remember them. If you guys are from Sweden, I apologize for not saying you, I just forgot. But um, you're probably the Ooh. first one that actually came, and, and if anyone else did before you, I forgot about them. Some That's cool. Reason. I feel special now. <laughs> Yeah, and I want to make sure that your first time meeting here is special because a lot of people have never really done an interview. Like I'm like like one about this. Some people yeah. have done like job interviews or some little kids have done interviews to their parents mm-hmm. or to but I've never actually done this where they get to talk about themselves and they get to talk about their uh, thing. Because I guess uh, with job I guess with job interviews you have to stay professional. And with yeah. um with those little interviews you do with when you're a kid, you talk about someone else. You talk about someone else. But you yeah. get to talk about yourself as an artist. You get to talk about you as a musician. So instead of talking about you in general, you get to put your you get to put you yourself in the role of a musician or a music producer or a singer or a songwriter. And you get to talk about that. Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of this, you know. you It's so fluid how you express yourself on this podcast, for example. And it, I think it's the, the same when you create music as I'm on this podcast right now. Because I get to be able to just express my emotions freely and, and talk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agree 100%. And you also benefit as well, is what I've noticed. You also get to benefit. Everybody wins. Everybody, everybody, in my opinion, wins. We both get win wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a transaction of uh, value. You do your value, you have a nice podcast, and you set up this whole thing, and then I bring my value, and then we create even better value together. And that's how you know how we grow. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I never thought of it. I never thought of. I never thought of that. You just you just taught me something new too. So look at that. Exciting, exciting. I'm glad to hear that. I love to learn other people. That's a passion I have. Yeah, most definitely hundred percent. You're speaking true. Ow. Hurts. Yeah, <laughs> glad, glad to hear. <laughs> sorry, your accent's kind of funny. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not judging, <laughs> but um I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot be laughing. Nah, it's you, fine. you cannot it's be fine. laughing. You can't be laughing. You you can't be laughing. I, I mean, I find it as a blessing if I can make other people laugh, you know? That's just good. They're not sending good shit. If I can make you laugh, that's amazing. <laughs> and I don't even have to do anything. I just have to talk. <laughs> not even crack a yoke or anything. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. If you talk to people like you're doing right now, they probably would be laughing too. I mean, usually when I travel, they don't they don't laugh. But uh, I might talk different right now, and I don't talk like this, you know. When I'm in Sweden, then I talk Swedish. Do you know any Swedish? Nope, I don't know any Swedish. Never even learned Swedish. What do you say? I was saying I've never actually learned Sweden Swedish. I can teach you one word. Uh, music. That's music. Music? Yeah, music. It's kind of like, look- exotic. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, I just I, I just had to say music and say it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fighting. Um, I've never actually read or heard Sweden, so um, getting uh, music as um music and sweet <laughs> i'm sorry um i'm just like hyperventilating because this is so exciting i've never actually learned sweden so thank you i mean i can i can learn you a lot of words uh, i know I, I know a lot of swedish <laughs> but for now we're gonna stay on the podcast i think i mean that's gonna take like two hours take out. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're gonna listen to two hours. That's not gonna happen. I might nah, listen to one, gonna, but um, <laughs> we might switch this over to a Swedish learning podcast, and you sit there in two hours and I learn you Swedish. Ugh, that, that's offspin. That's a bonus episode. 
<laughs> oh god, god, god. Um, actually, maybe you could start. Maybe you could do that. I mean, have you have you ever thought about starting your show yourself? Have you ever thought of doing that? I mean, uh, maybe in the future. I mean, that was kind of a joke, but maybe. I mean, maybe not than a Swedish learning podcast because that's not something I'm you know, passionate. Maybe more like just talking, just uh, inviting interesting guests and talking, and doing what we do now. We share value with each other and we gather more value. <laughs> Same concept as you use with and go with, you know. That sounds fun. I hope you do consider doing them. These shows are so fun. Yeah, yeah. I totally feel you. So fun. Okay, um, I think we drifted away from um, the topic. So, um, the did. music podcast. So, um, I'm just going to return back before, uh, before we have any more disruptions. <laughs> But the part about learning Swedish, now that was worth listening to, because I've never actually learned Swedish, I've never read it, so this that was actually the first word that I've ever heard. It was. That language I never... I've, I've learned Spanish, that Spanish is the only other language that I've learned. I've never learned any other. I looked at. I mean, yeah, Spanish is a you know, wide country. I mean, Swedish, I, I think it's the most complicated country. It's, uh, it's kind of hard to, for other people to learn. And uh, often people from America, they, they say that Swedish, it sounds like people sing. I don't know if that really? is true, because uh, I can't hear it from that perspective. But I mean, I could talk Swedish now and you could uh, see if it sounds like I sing, like one sentence. I get you, but it's why would they assume the accent would be singing? You don't even sound like you're singing. No, I mean when I talk Swedish like this, hey, you are coming my bro, like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm not seeing the singing part. Like you're just talking normal. Yeah, I mean I can't see it either because you know I am from Sweden. So when I hear Swedish word, then I hear you know it as a word, as a concept, not as you know something. Random shit. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My skills are impeccable with Swedish, though. What is it? I said your skills are impeccable with Swedish. With sweet. And I'll what, uh, what's the definition of impeccable? Well, impressive. That's what it means. It's impressive. impressive. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's nice. I wish my Swedish teacher would say the same. Really? <laughs> but how can a good grade still? It's okay. Oh. It's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't see it as uh, important in learning that shit, you know? It's more like obstacle. Okay. Yeah, up again. But it ended a good. Oh no, no, no! Never mind. It's on. Never mind. We're recording. False alarm. We're on. False alarm. All right, all right. So that was behind oh, the scenes. Alarm. <laughs> and now that was crazy. I thought he would have left for sure. Uh, uh, everybody, just ignore the um what I said of him leaving. He didn't leave. That's good. It's a um, really the fool's joke. Yeah, mm-hmm. April Fool's joke. Huh? Yes. That was kind of funny. Yeah, too bad it's not April, but um <laughs> Imagine if it, imagine if it was April first and we were doing this. Yeah, I can imagine it right now in my brain. And uh, then technically it's happening in my brain. So technically it's April the first. Yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. hey, <laughs> April first. <laughs> Is April first? 
Yeah, let's celebrate, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you but celebrate. No. <laughs> you don't celebrate April the first. You just fucking you fuck around with people. Mm-hmm. I don't really uh, do jokes or anything. I just feel like a normal day. Yeah, me too. But it's also nice to joke around on April Fool's Day. You know, I get mean, I, I always calories. forget it every time. Yep. And every time someone calls me up and tells there's a elephant running loose in my area, and I was like, "What the fuck? What do you mean? Oh, I see real food. Okay, ha ha." <laughs> but I always forget it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good to hear. Cool. All right, and I think we've drifted a while. All right, I want to start off uh, talking about your writing next because you have been so insightful. I cannot imagine what you'll say about your writing. I can't even imagine it. Okay. I, mean, um, I think yeah, I think it's hard because I'm the one writing. But when uh, I write, uh, I usually you know. I usually oh, it's, it's the same when I write and just create music. It's. Uh, I originate from the feeling that I have inside of me, my energy, and uh, then I try to write from that. And I try to find a beat originate from my feeling. So it all, I mean, stays connected. Because uh, mm-hmm. if I feel sad and I try to write, uh, you know, dance music, uh, hard, uh, you know what I mean? That, that's not gonna, yeah. that's not gonna work because when I rap, I think it's for everyone. Then I project the feeling out in my rapping. And if I wanted to stay, you know, on a good level and harmonized, then I need to originate from the feeling. That's oh, uh, yeah. more how I work. And uh-huh. yeah, that's sick. Okay. Um, I respect your um your creative process of writing. I respect that. Coming from a songwriter myself, I give you props on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it's all about the feeling that I have. And uh, then I find a beat that uh, can uh, be on the same, you know, level as my feeling. And then I try to write upon it. But I have a trick, because that's kind of, you know, in the box. Then I'm, like, stuck in, uh, I need to write from the feeling that I have in the moment, but I might want to write, you know, something else. So what I usually do then is then I just sit down, and I take some time, and I meditate, and I do it with an intention, like, what exactly, what feeling, what I want to create, and I just forget everything else. Just let go of every emotion, and just focus on exactly precise what I want to create. And then when I now go back, it's gonna be, that's gonna be the emotion that I feel inside myself. And that's what was, that's gonna be what I project out in my creative expressions, my vibration, you know? Oh, okay, I get what you're throwing out. I get what you're, I get what you're saying about that. I mean, so amazing how your style of writing makes you an even better artist because it's so deep and empowering the way you write music. Love that. I mean, wow. I mean, I'm just really just blown away how when you write that how you write that amazing music. It's it's beautiful in my opinion. I've I think I've read some of yours. I don't think you record music, but I've read some of your work and it's amazing. Yeah, I, li- I like to hear that. Actually, it warms my heart. If I can't yeah. make uh, someone like it, then then I'm, ha- then I'm happy. And I mean, I have like two, re- three recorded and some recorded on my phone and uh, on the computer. But right now, that's not what I'm focusing on. Um, you know, I want to put it out, of course, but I'm focusing on the, you know, core tool, and that is me. I'm focusing on, you know, mastering myself and mastering myself as an instrument so i mean i want to be able to create bangers just using my phone recording too if i can master it so it sounds very very good 
then it's going to be mm -hmm. way easier when I transition over to something bigger. Because I can uh, easily say this, that if you took like, someone like Biggie and he rapped into the phone, the recording tool, it would probably sound really, really good. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. 100%. You see what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, would you describe your music as, like, connected? Would you describe it? Or, like, is there, is there another way we describe it? Mm, what you mean, connected? Well, you know, well put together. Like, whenever someone listens to one of your songs, they really feel it. Like, they really feel it from their soul that it's beautiful. Ow. Yeah, I mean, that's what I try to do. I try to, you know... Uh, create uh, what you say like a uh, exchange with value like we're doing right now I try to put out my value and they listen to the value and then give me value because they're listening but I also want them to be able to actually perceive my value as value I want to be able to actually able to feel and be able to interpret what I say in an empowering and inspiring way Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I mean that's the that's the whole whole agenda with my thing. I want to be able to connect with people. Oh I get what you're I get what you're doing. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's an exciting uh, life, you know, when you have that mindset. And I think yeah, a little the same, you know, with this podcast. I mean it's it's a, just an exciting life when you just want to connect with other people. Uh, and being a podcaster has really been a privilege and a pleasure for me. And it's really been exciting. Because yeah. I get to go on an airplane ride every single oh. episode. I get to go on an airplane ride. So That's cool. what this feels like. Yeah. That's what this feels like. Because, you know, yeah. in the real world, it's kind of hard to travel. But um, with this podcast, I get, to, uh, I get to do traveling on my own. And it's so wonderful. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like, I mean, 5% of communication, that's what we're doing right now. So basically, you're experiencing some of it. It's like you're hearing, you're hearing what I say. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Most definitely. Maybe, maybe, maybe in the future, you know, like 10 years, then five years, I don't know. Then maybe you have your big studio and you have this wrap it out uh, <laughs> big stuff and you can uh, be able to fly out people there and you can be able to have a connect really more connective interaction and exchange with value you know on a whole other plane that's exciting yeah i mean that'd be a dream it, it, it looks it, it just sounds impossible for us to do that but you know i've always envisioned us having that like i i had a dream a few weeks ago and um me and I have met two because they're not here right now, but I envisioned them mm -hmm. all three of us in a big studio and a green light that mm -hmm. said record and had a big banner that has said wrap it out and we had a big audience mm -hmm. in there and it looked like Ellen or James Corden or, Jay or Jimmy Fallon show. Yeah. It, it, it looked like that and yeah. we always um, envisioned that would yeah. happen but you know because of where we are me ecstasy and jack were all three in different places so it just seems really impossible yeah for yeah. us to do but um yeah but i want to stop you there because i recognize you said impossible and i mean i think that's the wrong approach i i know that napoleon napoleon bonaparte he said this impossible that's only a word in a fool's dictionary and without i mean if you say it's impossible then you that's the that's your mindset and then you won't get more because you know life it's a truthful what you say master if you ask for a penny for life life is only gonna give you a penny not less not more you have to have faith and believe i mean this is totally possible people have done way way crazier stuff you know where it came from uh, being able to control fire sitting sitting in a cave to be able to build everything around you right now that's kind of crazy we can do everything we want yeah so I, be I believe in your dream that's what i'm trying to say uh thank you and um 
in, in my words, I wouldn't really describe it as a dream, a possibility. I mean, th- I mean, this is not the first time that I've considered doing it. Um, I've always, you know, wanted that, but um, maybe not, yeah. maybe not impossible, but um, not really likely because of how things are, and also because my podcast is sort of new. I mean, um, in a few months, it'll be like one year of me doing it. I mean, I'm still trying to recruit myself, so I don't want to go big, big until I've really done this for a while. Um, when I start to grow more as a podcast and as a podcaster, then I might start considering those, you know, things. But right now, like you, I'm improving, I'm learning yeah, new yeah, stuff yeah, about you. doing it. I mean, yeah, I'm learning yeah, more. But what you said would be cool. I would also get to meet Jack and Ecstasy in person. I would also, you know, get to, if I have enough money at that time, if I have enough money then, um, I could even fly some of the people from out of state or out of country in order to um, yeah, yeah, pay yeah. for their thing. Like, um, like example, if I did have the studio, I could, yeah. you know, I could buy your plane ticket to the U.S., and yeah. I would see you in person, and you'd be sitting in the nice, comfy chair, and we talk and and talk, and then I actually see you perform, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like like in person, like that would be fun. That would be super, super cool. And I mean, I see what you mean. I mean, it's not to achieve this kind of stuff. It's like it's no stress. It's a it's a marathon. It's a slow, slow building process. I mean, people have this image from uh, today's internet music where it's like 19 years old people running around with big chains and uh, cars and shit. That's only a fucking illusion to make you know, fearful of your future, but it's, it's a slow process. There's no stress. It takes time. You master yourself and then you master you know, what you want to master. It takes time. And that's the, I mean, that's the beauty of it. That's beautiful. Yeah, of course, of course. And, you know, that's what I'm doing, you know, with my podcast and with the, and also with my songwriting. It's all about, you know, improving and, you know, building. And, you know, basically everything that, everything that you said is basically, you know, what I'm doing. Amazing, just, amazing. You have a good mindset. Thank you. This is the kind of mindset I have whenever, you know, I have an episode. I'm like, okay, um, I, I have a good mindset. I'm okay with whatever shit happens. If audio goes out, whatever, if Craig leaves, whatever. And I'll do the best I can to make this as most comfortable as I can. And mm-hmm. I've met the person and I've gave them all they need. Um, we're starting late. I'm sorry. And, um... Yeah, it's growing from there, and uh, maybe that dream might happen. I mean, I don't really know. What I don't know if we're gonna have it, but um, if God can make it, if if He opens that door for this podcast to do that or something even bigger, yeah. it'd be amazing. I'd be open to do it. It would. It's all about the attitude. I remember it was like Roswell who said. Your attitude is like the edge of the knife. It's what shapes reality. So it's very important to get your, you know, attitude under control because that will result in how you shape your circumstances around you and how you interpret information and data around you. And that will result in creating your future. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like my dad always said, attitude is, you know, everything. It's also the way um, attitude comes from, like, presenting yourself. Attitude also shows people your character and how you are as a person. And attitudes can affect everything. It's mind-blowing. You can. Sorry. Go ahead. Wait, what did you say? You cut it out. My internet, Sweden, you know? God. Okay. Um, I was basically saying, you know, my dad said this thing. No, no, I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. That I heard. That was a great year, actually. Oh yeah, and um, attitude, attitudes. It's unbelievable how attitudes can have a big impact on your life because it it's based on how you present yourself. I mean, if you don't present yourself 
um, the way that is intended and also you will affect you like a positive kind of person is most likely going to succeed most likely yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, a person with a bad attitude a rude attitude they're not going to go anywhere they're going to keep, keep you know being terrible and horrible to people around them and it's going to affect you as a person and everyone around you yeah yeah and I think it's very important to get your, you know, attitude straight at a young age because it's going to be harder and harder for you to be able to reprogram yourself. It's just going to go deeper into the subconscious mind. At, I mean, right now we might think it's hard to, you know, change your attitude. But now it's the easy part. Now it's way easier. It's gonna, just going to get harder. You better like, you mean, use your brain before you lose it. That's what I say. <laughs> Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that was 700%. Yeah, 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 because, you know, I mean, it's hard to change yourself. It's very hard because people have a perception of exactly who you are. And if you change one day, you will go outside of their perception and they project you in a certain way. And they will try to put you back in your place. As we humans, we don't like stuff we can't understand. We like to keep it, you know, in concept. So that's I mean, the tricky part with all this shit. We have to, you know, have to do hard work. That's what I want to say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Speaking truth here. I think you're saying it's truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Truth is the important language. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the most crucial language that you need to learn. It is, it is. But I think in the world today, some people don't value it. At least what yeah, I and they, they don't value it and they have a hard time learning it. So I think truth is the hardest yeah. language out there. It's even harder than learning Sweden. It's the hardest <laughs> yeah, language yeah, out yeah. there. I think it too. I think it too. I think it too. And I, I mean, uh, you maybe mm -hmm. can't blame them, but you still can't blame them because, you know, they, they grow up in a society where truth is not, you know, the language, the normal thing you speak. So it might be hard for them. Well, then, I mean, everyone don't always talk truth, but it's not like normal thing to always go with the truth. That's what I want to say. Yeah, sometimes people were naturally put into lying or they've done it so many times, it's in their system. It, yeah, it might exactly. be bad. Yeah, exactly. So I understand. Yeah. So I totally get um, that if you were like born into lying, because that's your parents' fault, the yeah, generation's yeah, yeah. fault. And if you've done it many, many, many times, that's your fault. And, you know, if you have never considered telling the truth, you might not start now because it really affects you as a yeah. person. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to change then. But I still believe it doesn't matter how. You can still be able to change. You can still be able to change from a liar your whole entire life to a truth teller. It's just about your intention. I mean, you maybe can't go as far as a person who's always been talking the truth his whole life, but technically you can uh, go further than you would if you did not approach it in that way. You have to oh, approach yeah. it, you know, that uh, it is possible. Because then technically you will have the potential to be able to reach what you desire. And that goes with everything, not just this. This is an abstract concept. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you on that 100%. There. There. Damn, look at how... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> now... I have uh, recently, I mean, I recently, I mean, months ago, discovered that you're that that you, that you're on Rap Hub. Is that right? It's like you yeah, sign yeah, up yeah. on the account and you're there. Let's go into yeah. that because um, that's another side of you that um, we need to know about. So, how on earth did you start going on Rap Hub? How did that whole thing happen? Okay, I will tell you the truth. So it was like late, late, late at night. I was sitting at my home, you know, freestyling, having fun. 
And then I went out and I uh, smoked a joint, a nice, nice joint. And then I went oh, in and I, I, and I felt like, hmm, what should I do? And I saw something like rap and uh, rap, uh, no, something on the internet, you know, something about rap. And then I just found it. And when I was in that high man, man, mental state, okay, then I saw this rap head thing as so great because yeah, I literally had you know you could freestyle you could write you could publish you could battle I think the shit the shit is amazing the shit is so good the shit, the shit is and I still feel it you know I think it's like a great idea it's amazing but that's basically the story <laughs> how I came over rap out oh wow I okay, mean what's your shocking. opinion on uh, what's your opinion on you know smoking weed um, I don't smoke, but I usually tell people to not do it because it damages your lungs whenever you smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opinion. yeah. I think I think you're absolutely right. Actually, I think you're absolutely right. But I think it's more about the person and not the substance. I think it's more about uh, what you do when you've done it. Um, I, I I guess we can go with that as well. I guess you have a point with that one. I guess it could also be on the person themselves. Maybe they're not in their good health position, or they just yeah, yeah, yeah. did something stupid with their body and caused them to get harmed by lungs. Who knows? Yeah, I mean everything you do is like negative, positive. You just have to keep a balance. Like like now, I don't smoke anymore, but I did for like yeah. months back. Yeah, yeah, I think. I mean. If I smoke, then I don't want it to be an addiction because I don't want to be attached to something that I have to do it because then I won't like it at all. And I, I feel like if I, if I feel in my life that I need to take some time off and I need to be more productive than I can when smoking, I can still be productive when smoking, but I can be way more sharp in my mind when I'm not smoking, then I won't be able to have the option to just let it go. I want to be in control, oh, yeah. you know? I don't, I don't want the weed to smoke me. I want to smoke the weed. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I just got to make a comment. Um, it's shocking how after you smoked, you just randomly searched up rap sites, I think, or you just randomly put in rap pad. I'm not really sure how you said it, but I have a feeling that you, after you smoked, we're going to get away from that. Um, you <laughs> searched rap sites and rap pad showed up and I guess you started using it from then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's kind of crazy. I, I think it was faith. I think it was meant to happen. And uh, wait, so if you think about it, technically, the reason that I smoke weed that night, it led to me going on this internet, searching, got on Rapper, made an account, and then that's the reason that we rebooked and booked and rebooked and booked this podcast, and the reason I'm here right now. So it was all in divine order. That's my conclusion. Mm, that, <laughs> explains a, that, that explains a lot, then. I mean, a... Uh, it's probably that's just something that I, I made up, you know. But it it's still it's still exactly how it happened. But there's maybe not the behind reason. But if you think about it, that's how it happened. Oh, I got you. And how long have you been there? Been where? Rapper. Rapper. Mhm. Uh, so I don't know, like three months, two months, something. Oh, so you're very new there. Yeah, I'm very new. I have like three followers. I'm very new. I mean, I don't give a fuck about followers and stuff. I'm just telling that I'm new. I'm very new in rapper. But I think it's an, like an amazing platform to be able to ex- express yourself. Just, you know, mm-hmm. write and freestyle. I like the freestyle too. It's very cool. You can like check on historical and medical terms and it's like fluid. Because if, if you search on YouTube, like a beat with the uh, Words and it's often like the same. Rapper is like more a dictionary. It's like 
you get more, mm-hmm. you get better in a deeper way, like learning. So that's a bonus. That's a very good thing with rap out of, I would say. I agree. I agree. I agree. It does have its good points and some bad points. Mm-hmm. But, but I definitely get where you're going with that. I definitely get what you're getting with that. Most definitely. Let's talk about your experience there. Let's see. What is your favorite song that you made there? Your first song? So, um, I guess, yeah, if you only made one song. Wait, what do you mean? I mean, I have a lot of songs on Rap Hub, but I'm not sure what was the first one. But I can check in one second. I think it was oh. like, uh, I had some uh, lyrics written, written in my notes, and I thought, oh, shit, I want to post this. And I posted it on Rap Hub. I think my first, thing, my first one was uh, this year. It was, yo, check my state. Okay, wait, this was one month ago. Okay, I'm very new on Rap Hub. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. uh, my first track, which I record and I was talking, you know, freestyling, it was No Dependencies Freestyle. And then I had like, I would say like 17, uh, 17 raps and like five mm-hmm. of them with uh, me rapping. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and um, just follow up. What's your favorite song that you made there? I mean, I like all of them in kind of special way because uh, it's like ev- uh, evolution of me. But the one I like most, this is my newest recorded song. It's called Day and Out because that's my best because it was the newest. And I steady, I can hear myself improve every single day at rapping. So I can I can look back at a song I made uh, one month ago. I still like it, but I just can think back. Oh shit! I can I mean I can could have done so much better. <laughs> but I still I mean have love for it because it's something that I did, and it led up mm. to what I like now. You know. Yeah, I got you one hundred percent. I'm with you there. I'm there. <laughs> it's process. The process, the, the real treasure, you know? Mm, I think everything you do in life is a process. Yeah, everything is a process. And, I mean, it never stops. Yeah, it never does. It never. It never. Everything is a process. Coming from bugs to, um, to the tallest building, it's, it's always a process to everything. Yeah, it is. I mean... I mean, that's how you, I view mean, like, uh, life, you know? You know, these kind of game machines where... Or you have you played, like, Super Mario? If you look on the top right, it's like a score that just goes up on infinite numbers. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I view life in that way, you know? My score just goes up and up and up and up, and it can't, it can't go down because I'm improving and I'm not uh, going down. And it can't go up and up and up. And uh, the cost behind, if it goes more up and less up, is how I approach life. But the fact is that I constantly grow and it's constantly a process. And depending on how I invest my time, it results in uh, me mastering certain attributes and skills. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm with you there, 100%. Yeah. I'm there. Okay. Um. God. Wait. What I, time is it? Where you at? Well, for me right now, um, it's four o six. Four o six. Okay. I'm standing here right now. Just looking at the moon. You know. <laughs> it's kind of beautiful. Fine. And I don't fuck with time, so it doesn't really matter to me. I really, really care. Um. But um, on to this, um, just a few things to discuss before you're... Actually, that might be wrong. No, I am right. Um, a few things before we get to your owl showcase. That really hurts. Let's see. Where would you be right now if you were not a musician? I mean, that's a question I think it's impossible to answer because I, I can't do, but I can only possibly... Mm, 
I think I probably would uh, maybe be a professional player in a video game. Because before I raft, you know, I played a game called Overwatch and I reached uh, the top 500 of uh, the whole world. So probably I would have pursued that career. Uh, okay, okay. But um, That's just a possibility. are you sure? Hmm? Are you sure video games sound professional? No, 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 I might be wrong. Because you can also test video games and get paid for it, I think. No, I mean like playing a esport you're playing game like a sport i mean that's uh, where my whole mindset comes from uh, being able to improving on rap because i knew the process of uh, putting in timing something it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's a game or if it's playing piano it's still the same concept you put in time it's the x in the equation that will make the result different if you know what I mean. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Doesn't matter, with that one. doesn't matter if playing piano or playing video game, it's still the same process in mastering something. And if I got to master something and uh, I got to be the best in the world, then uh, I got some knowledge that I, I, I can use now. I mean, that's probably why I'm uh, at this moment right now in rap, because I learned from my experience. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Got you. That, that response. Um, I'm gonna just let that sink into my brain um, while we go into the next question. Cause, um, <laughs> sink into your brain. Okay. Someone's waiting for your show. Okay, so th- just a few things. Uh, this, and I know you'll have a good answer. Do you have any dream collabs in mind? Dream collabs? Hmm? Yeah. Nipsey Hussle. I would like to make music with him if I ever had the chance. No, that's going to be impossible. And when I say impossible, I mean impossible. Yeah. Because he's not, he isn't alive, you know. But uh, I would like to make music with him. He's so inspiring, you know. The Victory Lab motto. Mm. That life is a victory lap. And it's a marathon. Lap of the lap. His music is very inspirational, and I would love to be able to spend a, spend a moment with him. That would be a blessing. That's nice, that's nice. I, can, I could envision you two making something. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Any rap patterns in mind? I mean, uh, no. Oh. No. I, I mean, mean I, don't, okay. I, I don't, I don't uh, know that many people who make on rap pad. I mean, I listen to stuff, but I don't like recognize. Mm, you should go on there more, cause I'm there, and I'm surprised you didn't say. You know. Do you make uh, music there? I write music there. I'm not. I don't record music. I write, and I have a thing uh, behind why I don't record. But we're not gonna get into that. Yeah, I think I've checked out uh, a bit of your writing. When I think back now, I know that you write. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Cool text. Cool, cool, cool. Um. And lastly, to finish this all off, um, have you ever in your life gone through a writer's block? What's that? Oh, okay. No, I mean, right. it, like... I'm not saying it's a sarcastic way. I'm saying, like, oh, okay. Like, understanding. Anyway, a writer's block is a period of time where you don't, you can't think of anything to write, you have a blank space. It's sort of like painter's block or means director's block. You mean, like, uh, depression? Not depression, but, like, a time where you couldn't think of anything to write. Yeah, I mean, I think that happens kind of here and there, but I don't think it as something bad. I mean, sometimes your brain just want to chill and relax, and I see just that as a sign for me to just slow down, because I know I can be very fast. And if I sit there and I can't write, then I don't force myself. I will just create resistance, and I won't be able to produce the value that I want. 
I see that as a sign to slow myself down and uh, be bored. Because I think it's important to be able to be bored. That's the only way you can master something. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I agree 100%. Me. You speaking my language, that's me. <laughs> that's cool, man. That's cool. Still, still the other side of the world and we still can, you know, communicate on the, you know, inner level. That's cool. Yay. Awesome. Before we get to your showcase, what's next for you? Yes, mastering. Uh, probably just uh, keep on rapping and mastering myself. Just uh, growing in uh, every kind of area, you know. And uh, be able to externalize my vision that I have on the inside, because I think that's my whole purpose in life. I have my vision in my soul, you know, and I want to be able to bring my soul's desire out and externalize it. And for me, uh -huh. to be able to do that, it's like I need to have a good mindset. I need to be able to think the right way that's harmonized to my goal. Got you, got you, got you, got you. You know what I mean? So it's a process that mastering myself overall. And uh, that will result in me, you know, creating more raps and growing in that area and all kind of areas. Mm, got you. And to follow up, do you have any new projects you're making? Uh, yeah, I'm writing new songs every day, so I would say, yeah. It's always new projects. Always. Every day is a new project, <laughs> I would say. Mm. Mm. I also like how you say, like, every day is a project. You like that? And, and I agree with you. I agree that every day is a project. I mean, yeah. You try to do something with it. I mean, a project, that's something you try to invest your time in to get a certain outcome. And I see every day as a project I invest my time in to get a certain outcome. So, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You're, speaking, you're speaking truth here. Shit, it's cold as fuck. I'm freezing. Shit, my uh -huh. feet. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Are you okay though? Are you freezing? Yeah, I'm okay. You know, I'm Viking. It's no problem. But I still uh, see the cold. <laughs> okay, and I and I thought I heard you say Viking, but you you no, not no, Viking. No, no, Viking. Viking, Viking. Mm. You know Viking. I know I have Viking blood in me, so I'm Viking. <laughs> that explains a lot then. No, but, but I still freeze. I still feel cold. But I can handle it. I mean, that's probably uh, something that I imaginated and accepted the truth and made it the truth. But I like it. <laughs> cool. All right. Now, before we get to your showcase, yeah. um, you, can, you may ask me anything you would like to know about me before... We begin your showcase. Right. How was your day going? Have you had a good day today? Oh, I was not expecting that, but um, it's going good so far. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, I have a question too. I suppose you also make music. Do you play music? Do you play instruments? Um. I wish I did. Actually, no, I'm I'm wrong. I have dabbled in instruments. I played drums when I was very young. I ooh, I like mm. drums. Yeah, and um, then in back in elementary school, um, they used to make us play instruments. So I played something called recorder, and it used to be this black mm -hmm. um. I like flute and clarinet. It used to be a recorder, and everybody had to learn how to play it back in school. So I had to learn how to play it. I didn't enjoy it so much, but uh, it was also mm -hmm. the uh, first time I actually took the time to learn one along the drums. That's cool. It seems like you had a lot of experience with different instruments. 
them. Yeah, and I've also kind of dabbled. I'm not really a genius or expert at doing that, but um, I, you know, enjoy it. I enjoy What's it. your favorite instrument? I, I did, but um, it's been a while since, it's been a while since yeah, I played any instruments. Years. Mm. Right. Now you play an instrument. No, I don't. I don't play any instruments right now. No, when you're talking, you know, you're basically playing instrument. You're basically. Oh, you're talking about uh, my throat then. I, I I guess the mouth part is an instrument. I mean, yeah, you're expressing a certain frequency. I can choose to, you know, talk loud and low and uh, everything. I mean, my whole body is an instrument. It's a, a fucking a vibration, a vibration of emotion <laughs> that's expressing itself. What's an instrument doing? A piano. You're playing it and it's expressing itself. Because it's yeah. all sound. But that's deep. That's just quantum physics. And I don't want to go in that now. Mm-hmm. Good call. But um, I definitely think where you're going in that one. Nah, that's, that's gonna... It's gonna. It's not suited for tonight. <laughs> I'm sleeping different. I'm letting all what you said just sink into my brain right now. Mm-hmm. Y'all sinking. All right. Anything else before we get to your showcase that everyone's been waiting for for the past hour? <laughs> Me too. I mean, no, nothing I can think about. No. Okay, awesome. Well, everybody, time to put your hands together because it's time for Poseidon's showcase. So it's time for you to wrap it up, bud. All right, so I'm just going to throw on a freestyle from the dome. So much uh, grown. Nice, my time to show. Always on the go. What the fuck do you know? I've been living in hell. Still, I'm feeling so well. Trying to make the most. Always on the go, what the fuck do you know? I'll be living on the low, trying to invest my time in the most calculated move. Always on the go, and wait, 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 it's fucking cold. One second, okay, give me a word. A word, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can do the game then. I mean, I can't freestyle, but it's cold. But I need to, hmm, wait, I need to just run a little bit to warm up my body. One second. Okay. Okay, okay I, I am warm. Okay. You want to try a verse from a song you made, maybe? A teaser? Uh, I mean, I would prefer to freestyle. Oh, you prefer to freestyle, okay. Yeah. Okay, for your showcase, we'll do a game then. And then we'll count then. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is a freestyle game. I'm going to give you a let's word, go. and you've got a freestyle based on it. So, let's sure. see. Perfect. Elephant. Did you say elephant? I, I said perfect. You got a freestyle based on the word perfect. Oh, I thought you said elephant. <laughs> oh, I said perfect. Okay, okay, yeah, the world is not perfect. Might want to nerf it. Because I'm steady on my turf and I'm trying to be lit. Trying to make hits. Yeah, I'm this shit. Bringing the pain. Don't you know my way? The way of the great, yeah, shape my fate. I take my time and I do what I really want to do. You know that I never fucking fold for competition. Yeah, I go, I'm the... (laughs) Another word. (laughs) That was good. Then we're going to keep going until I break you. All right, let's go, let's go. I'm starving. Let's see. What about uh, science? Okay, when I'm navigating the world... Wait, 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 wait one sec. When I'm navigating throughout the world, I, f- I feel like I'm walking as a lion. All around me, I'll be calculating science. Wherever I go, I'll be feeling that I'm trying to know. Trying to just grow in the most complicated way. Trying to show. I mastered my most complex flow, and now I'm always on the go. I shed a tear for the past, reminiscing about me running around just trying to get the cash. But now I feel that I understand. It's all about that puff, puff, pass. Sure, they want to smash. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Metal. What did you say? I said metal. Metal, 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 metal. Man, metal. Fuck, I'm not in this fucking code. One sec. You gotta wear pants, or um, you gotta wear pants. You gotta wear like shorts, or um, or, or if you're feeling cold, like put pants on or a jacket to. Yeah, you know, I, I, right, right now I'm standing here and I'm, you know, trying to freeze, uh, freezing my balls off. <laughs> oh God. I mean, I, I right now I feel like I could do better, but. I, I, Okay, let's just go with it. Okay, I can I can wrap I can wrap uh, a text I've done. Okay, it's gonna be easier because now I'm okay. not in you know that mood. Okay. okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I can uh, rap for you a cappella the a song on rap pad if you want to. The road. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Damn, it's a cold game, day after day, living through the pain. People trying to stay, gonna stay on the wake. They cross the line without hesitate. Find your passion and go with it. Find your love and flow with it. Now it's time, I'ma do the longest time. Nah, 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 I'm coming straight out the harbor. It's getting hot, you get caught on the spot. One chance, you better try to take the shot. We young motherfuckers gon' get to the top. Ain't no stopping us, we be living on the wave. We gon' die rich with money in the grave. Saving up for a cold rainy day. Grind with me and I'ma make your own name. All we tryna do is get to the top of the food chain. Gonna get cash flowing and end up like Bruce Wayne. Ain't no hopping on the one train. Damn, it's a cold game, no shame. Get your grades up to the top lane. Open your eyes and see the full frame. Take control, bug, lost my flow. But now I'm back on track, yeah, no. Yeah, that's it. What you think? Honest feedback. Okay, that was pretty good. I actually love the rhythm that you presented, and I also love your bars. I love your writing. Um, hmm. Makes me very happy. Yeah, of course, of course. But it's a process. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm. Before um, we get to the end credits and to end this, um, I just wanted to say again, thank you. Um, this ep- this podcast is uh, the episode's really been amazing to get to meet you and to get to learn a lot from you. Yeah, I feel the same. It was amazing. I'm very honored to finally be here, and be able to talk to you. It's been a great time, and I think we this is the start of a friendship. We just saw our new friendship. We did. Yeah. 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 We did. It's nice to talk to you. A message for a time. Yeah. Well, and sure. and um, I want to thank your time. Uh, I want to thank you for taking your time off to do this. I know you had, you know, things to do in your life and taking your time yeah. off to do this thing with me. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, this was a valuable moment for me in my, you know, Growth. It was yes. very valuable. Because I did mm-hmm. something that I've never done before. I mean, I stepped out of my comfort zone. So I think this was a, a great moment. A great moment. It was amazing to be here. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm very excited to see the future of this podcast. Yeah, me I think, too. I, I think it has great, great potential. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree 100%. I can't wait to see what the future holds for this podcast. I'm excited to to, to see it. I can't wait. For sure, for sure. It's going to be amazing. Oh, it's cold. I know it is. I know it's going to be amazing. Yeah, Whatever yeah. the future is going to have for us, I'm going to just step out and I'm going to take it in. I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I have one thing more to say to yes. the people who 
Wait one sec. One sec. This is very complicated. Uh... All right, all right, all right. Sorry for the answer, everybody. I also have a disclaimer up. Um... Okay, okay, no. Okay, wait. Can I say it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I want to say this to people who want to try to do something with the time and try to just follow the path. It's the message that I have to those people that the road to success is a lonely road, but one of the most beautiful because the real treasure in it is not the end. That's just a bonus. It's the character that you build on the way, the growth of yourself, the self-love and the self-worth you build on the way that you are capable and capable uh, that you're capable to want something and go get it and i see that as a skill a skill like a muscle that you have to train and if you pursue that way of greatness you will have a more power over your time it's a journey itself and the self master you will you will achieve okay i'm, I'm reading a bit stuttering because i'm freezing as fuck but i just wanted to say it <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you for that message. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think we all appreciate that. All right. Um, before we end everything, um, I want to open this opportunity for you um, as part of any credits to um, say any thank you for your success. Um, last words you would like to give to your fans? Any uh, any more advice you'd like to give? I you said a lot of advice, um, but if you want to add any more. Um, you can yeah, uh, any last things. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't waste your time to try to be someone else because then you're just wasting your whole goddamn life. Try to find what makes you different and uh, unique and uh, go with that because then you're going to reach and get whatever you desire. That's the only way you can achieve something if you find you find it yourself because i see it like this we all are born with a different kind of you know personality mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we can't spend our time trying to be someone else we all have a gift inside of us every single human being and uh, we just need to find a gift that value inside of us and then give it out to the world in however you want it. It can be working at a restaurant, but you do it in a passionate, loving way. So it makes your life fulfilling and you may be inspire people. What I want to say is just follow your soul and believe in yourself. Because that's the only person who has to believe, only you, no one else. It's enough. It's enough for the people who have become successful today, because it all started out with only them believing. Yes, yes, enough for yes. you too. Mm -hmm. He's speaking truth here. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm freezing mm -hmm. as fuck. Wow, so you must be really cold over there then. I mean, right now it's the, it's the summer. It's the starting of the summer and uh, at the daytime it's very warm. But at the night right now, Okay, maybe because, you know, I'm, uh... Probably... And it's wet grass. So... I'm oh, freezing. Wow. <laughs> what I also forgot... I forgot 10.30. Oh, thought shoot. it was like, since it's now four, it's 1031. Yeah. Or you got them. And, okay, good. Still recording. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody for I hope you all have taken what um
Sidon has um, told us. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, and so just another big thank you. And um, I hope you guys check out him, his music, Poseidon. Please make sure that you message me your socials when you can and just send me those if you have any. Of course. Cool. And um, Rap Headers, please make sure you check out Poseidon. Um, search up his user and, you know, follow him, you know, collab. You know, he's an awesome and incredible writer. So please make sure that you do that and that you, you know, you check out this guy. He's amazing. He's incredible. Appreciate it. I appreciate the love. Problem. And um, y'all know me. I I tell you guys the socials, everything. I'll wrap up the podcast. And, you know, I hope you guys are having a good one. And um, stay tuned for more to come from me. And um, I hope this episode was very insightful to you. And I hope you all apply it in your everyday life. So from here and from around the world, I wish you all a very good day. And I um, hope you guys um, apply these skills to your life. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. Have a great day or night, wherever you guys are. And I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody. Hope you guys have a great one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.